good morning i just woke up i don't know if i have morning voice or whatever but hopefully i don't but it doesn't matter because we have cataclysmic news regarding weathering waves i literally was watching a video in bed when i woke up and then i jumped out because of this news because this is absolutely insane let's dive into it guru games just released an announcement on uh some updates and stuff and future adjustment directions and um a lot of it's all the good stuff lots of fixes being mentioned but most importantly as well as some free like wishes and all that stuff but we are going to skip right down to the big one okay right over here the fourth one on future version updates timeline so originally in the special live stream for 1.0 they said that yinlin would be releasing on june 12th but we've got an update for that because um she's actually just coming out on june 6th 10 a.m utc plus 8 which is in a couple of days. That's absolutely insane. This does mean for North America, uh, June 5th, which is kind of crazy because that's literally like the day after Klohan comes out in Genjin Impact. So there's going to be some crunch time for people that play both games and some very, 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 very empty wallets um, following that as well. But we're also getting a confirmation that on June 28th, which means June 27th for people in North America because of the time zone, uh, version 1.1 is going to be released and we're going to get a new area and Jin Jinsu and uh, Shangli as well, as well as a new boss, which is probably spoilers. If you've done the story for 1.0, you'll know who it is, which also just means that we're we're fighting that, but that's okay. That's insane. As well as a, an, another 10 pull. But let's 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 think about all the pulls that we're getting. So we have a 10 pull right here, but if we scroll up, they're also giving us some um, Apollo gems for the uh, five star weapon description error, uh, which only really affected the Japanese version of the game and people in Japan, but everyone's getting some free wishes. So that's five forging tides. So that's the weapon banner, which is great for those of you trying to get Yin Lin's weapon or saving it for later down the line. So that's an, that's great. But I believe we're getting yes, we're getting another 20 crystal solvents. So that's basically for getting more wave plants so people can grind to a higher union level. I might actually start to use this to hit 40 so, uh, this week. Because this is actually coming... When is this coming? Distribution time, June 3rd. So, like, literally, like, tomorrow. If not today. But, yeah, I I can't believe Yinlin is coming so soon. That is absolutely insane. I usually do countdowns for these, for these kinds of things. So, I'm going to have to, like, get on that already. Oh, I... And... Oh, man. I haven't even pre-farmed for her at all. And I'm definitely getting her. But I think that's going to be okay. I'll probably use the free crystal solvents um they're also going to be adding a way to kind of like condense or store our wave plates as well so that's going to be really helpful and we're also getting a million shell credits as well so yeah nothing but good stuff i oh man this changes everything now what's the reason for this now some people might think that uh kuro games are panicking and they're trying to like solve all their issues by doing this all early and that could be very well true and other people might point out that oh poor developers because of the crunch time which may be true unfortunately crunch time is kind of the norm in the video game industry and the solution is for them to hire and i know they've been trying to hire more people to kind of uh spread out with the the absolute ginormous popularity this game has had but what about on the positive side let's look at it on, on a business perspective now with uh, yin lin coming early now they're now toe to toe competing with patch 4.7 which has clohand dane's lift story quest but the popularity of yin lin is quite high so i think that was they're not too concerned about that. I think people are going to be pulling for Yin Lin. I know people are going to be pulling for Yin Lin. So I don't think that's too bad. But I think what's more important is the fact that patch 1.1 is coming earlier. Because that's big. June 28th. That means more revenue for the month of June. So I think the amount of money Weathering Waves is going to make in June is going to absolutely skyrocket. Like no tomorrow with that. You got Yin Lin and... I'm going to assume Jinsu all happening in June for them. So that's going to be a really huge bump in revenue for the month. But also the other thing to look at is the fact that it's releasing before Zenless Zone Zero comes out. Because that's big. They're trying to pump that out before Zenless Zone Zero comes in. Trying to keep the hype going. Trying to keep the uh, momentum going before another gotcha game releases. That is pretty highly anticipated because it is a Hoyo game. And on other gaming releases, it's also releasing before the DLC for Elden Ring as well. So, you know, 
it's actually a really good business move at the end of the day and i think they are going to profit from it but this is all insane i can't wait i've been rambling long long enough let me know what you think in the comments down below but until the next time adieu and goodbye